fifth grade engine math lesson 5.2 understand volume i can use unit two to find the volume of a rectangular prism spark your learning a twin company engineers determined that the best way to package number cubes with the one unit each into a single box is to stack them in the shape of a rectangular prism how many different kinds of rectangular prisms could this number of cubes be stacked in okay so we need to first find the volume of or how many cubes so to find volume, we do what? So, oh, let me click on that. Okay. So volume equals length times width times height, right? Okay. What is the length of our cube? Four, right? What's the width of our cube? Four. And what's the height of our cube? Three. So we can easily do multiples of 12, right? Because we're used to those. So 3 times 4 is 12 times 4 is 48. So we have 48 cubes, right? Okay, so this is just like the other day where we come up with different ways um, that we can come up with dimensions, okay? So we already have 4 by 4 by 3. So what are some other dimensions we can use for 48? We could use 48 times 1 times 1, right? Okay, what else can we use? Okay. Six times eight times one. What's another one? Um, okay. Six times two times four. Oh, sorry, I forgot to put the teeth still in there. Now these could also be written in a different order using those numbers. See that? Right? Okay. Okay. Times four times one. What about twenty-four times two times one? Okay. What else? Um, three times four times four. Okay. Three times four times four. Okay. What else we got? What about eight times three times two? Okay. Got any more? Six times four times two. Okay, and that would be the same as this one, but just a different order, right? You guys got any other factors for me? Three times three times one. Okay. Okay, anything else? getting close to it right okay build the understanding the picture shows a box designed to pack game cubes each game cube is the size of one unit cube okay so how many game cubes can be packaged into the bottom layer of the box with no gap or overlap so we need to figure out our dimensions first right guys okay so we have one two three four five six seven eight for the length right what about the width one, two, three, right? And what about the height? One, two, three, four, four? Yeah. Okay. So they only want to know one layer, that bottom layer, right? Okay. So how many um, game cubes can go down there? 24. So 24 game cubes. Because we found what? The length. The length times the width. Okay. We found the length, which was eight, right? Times the width, which is three. Okay. So how many layers of game cubes can be packaged into the box? How do you know? So how many layers? Four, because that was the height. So four layers because that was the height. Okay, 
So they also talk about common environments that space a solid figure occupies and is measured in cubic units, such as cubic inches. A unit cube has a volume of one cubic unit. Okay, so we've done those types of things on our drops in the buckets before, right? Okay. So how many game cubes can be packaged so the box is full and there are no gaps or overlaps? So once again, we know um, volume equals length times width times height, right? So our volume equals our length is what, guys? Um, Eight, right? What's our width? Three. three. And what's our height? Four. Okay. So luckily this can be kind of multiplied in any order we want, right? So like I said before, we know our multiples of 12, right? So four times three is 12 times eight is 96. So 96 game cubes. The volume of the box can be found by finding the numbers of game cubes it takes to fill the box with no gaps or overlaps. Um, since each game cube is the size of a unit cube, what is the volume of the box in cubic units? So it would be 96 again, right? Cubic units. A cross or package of cube shaped beads as shown. Each bead measures one centimeter along each edge. There are no gaps or overlaps in the package. How many beads are shown? Explain how you know. So let's count our length, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine is our length. What about our width? One, two, three, four, right? And then our height is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So how many beads are shown? So what do we need you to do? So volume equals length times width times height, right? Is this our explanation? Yes. Okay. So volume equals, what's our length? Nine. Our width is four. And our height is six. Okay. So what is nine times four? 36. And then we need to take that times six. So 36 times six. We could do it mentally, right? Okay. But sometimes it's a little easier to write it out. So six times six is? So six carry the three. Six times three is? 18. 18 plus 3 is 21. So 216 beads. Okay, what is the volume of the box in cubic centimeters? So did we just find that? Yes, so 216. What's my label? If I can write it as cubic. Centimeters, or I can write it as 216 centimeters cubed. So I can write it either way, correct? Either, either way, those stands for the same thing. So suppose each thing measures one inch on each edge. What would the volume of the box be in cubic inches? So once again, it would be what? 216 again, right? And cubic centimeters. So that would be the abbreviation, right? Thanks for understanding. A warehouse receives a shipment of cube shaped boxes that measure one foot along each edge. If the boxes are stacked to form the right rectangular prism, what is the volume of the prism? So, first of all, we need to find what? So one, two, three, four, five, six, right? What's my width? One, two, three, four, five, six. And my height is one, two, three, four, correct? Okay, so how am I gonna find that? Volume equals what? Length times width times height. 
Kate, I want you guys to write the formula because that helps you remember it over and over and over again, right? Okay, so volume equals length was six, width was six, and height was four. Okay, so 36 times four. Four times six is 24, put the four, carry the two. Four times three is 12, plus two is 14. So we have 144 what? Cubic feet, okay? Or I could write it as 144 feet cubed, right? Use the unit given, find the volume. So they're just saying those are in unit cubes, right? So what is my formula? Volume equals length times width times height. Okay, so I have to find my dimensions, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? How about width? One, two, three, four, five. And how about height? One, two, three. Okay. So volume equals what's my length? Seven. What's my width? Five. And what's my height? Three. So I'm going to take what? Seven. So you take 35 times three. 35 times three. Five times three is 15 carry the one. Three times three is plus one is 10. So 105, what's my label? Cubic unit. Or I could write 105 unit cube, right? Either way. On your own, a puzzle consists of blocks made from one inch cubes as shown. What is the volume of the right rectangular prism? How do you know? So we're going to have something, and what's going to be our label? Cubic inches, right? Or I could have inches cubed because. Okay, what's our formula? Volume equals length times width times height. Okay, so our volume would be V equals, what's our length? One, two, three, four, five, six times our height or our width. One, two, three, four times our height. One, two, three, four, five. Right? Okay, so what? What would be an easy thing to group together? The four and the five, because what is four times five? Twenty. And two times six is twelve. And add a two, so it would be one hundred twenty cubic inches. Okay. So now on four, we're gonna have to find the volume for each of those, and then we're gonna have to compare them. So, uh, my formula, because like I said, I want you to, to use formula on each one of them, work on it, and then a good label. So, volume equals length times width times height. What's my length? So, volume equals six times four times two. So, four times two is eight times six is so 48 inches cubed, or I could have put cubic inches, right? Okay, the next one, volume equals length times width times height. Volume equals, what's our length? Four. What's our width? Three. And what's our height? Four, right? So four times three is 12 times four is 48 inches cubed. So they are equal. 